Welcome back to the channel. One of the questions that you probably haven't thought of, but you probably should have, is does adding timing with the distributor give the same result as adding the same amount of timing in software? Well, this car is a great test bed to try that out. It's totally stock. Let's go ahead and see if there's a difference between adding four degrees on the distributor or adding four degrees in software. I'm going to leave our custom fuel programming in the car on the premise that there may be some issue with this 30 year old car that's causing it to run way too rich. But I've set the timing back to the completely stock timing program. And we're going to add timing by turning the distributor using the timing light. And we're going to see whether there's a difference between adding timing just by turning the distributor or adding timing in the software. The tests on this graph were taken within a half hour of each other on the same strap down with no differences other than the way the four degrees timing has been added above the stock timing. The dashed lines represent a run with four degrees total timing added in software. The solid lines represent a run with four degrees added by turning the distributor. There's an obvious difference throughout most of the power band with a peak to peak difference of two horsepower and four foot pounds. Now, this car sounds a little rattly to me on 87 octane, so it should probably have had 91 in it for this trick. But both tests use the same fuel. What could possibly explain the difference? Well, I'd thought about this problem quite a bit after I'd first seen it, which is like 20 years ago, I guess. And I think that the real issue here is a matter of the position of the rotor with respect to the contacts on the distributor cap. So when you advance the timing with the distributor, you actually change that position and the rotor ends up at total timing. It ends up a little bit further away from the contacts than when you have it done through software. So that could reduce your spark energy a little bit. And that's my best guess as to why you get this phenomenon where you always do better by programming the timing advance rather than by dialing it in with a timing light on the distributor. Now, an extension of this is if you're setting up a car for serious power to race, like say my wild nine second Fox body, it has a distribution only front drive distributor. And the way we set that is so that that rotor is pointed directly at the contacts at the total timing that's programmed into the car. So let's say the total timing was 30 degrees. We turn the uh, motor to 30 degrees and then phase the distributor so that that rotor is pointed at, at the correct contact on the cap directly when the motor is at 30 degrees before top dead center. That's going to give you the highest spark energy, the least problematic jump between the rotor and the, and the contacts on the cap and it results in the best possible performance. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on future videos.